yell at me for being late. Late. Late to the waterfall. To swim. And to protect the kids. From drowning. Or going off the ledge. We'll make fun of this later. This is dumb, I know. Lift your stomach, lift your stomach. Hey! Woo! Guys, we're gonna go that way. Two, one, good job. behind me with I guess uh, traditional Asian music playing out loud and he's just walking around with his ca uh, phone taking pictures really is a nice scenery I'm gonna explain what just happened we're here at this river uh, that we take every year for kids to jump in and swim and there's this nice let's say about three foot rock that's above the water that kids love to jump in and I was there monitoring, telling the kids to jump one at a time to wait so nobody jumps on top of them. Problem with these kids is that they think they could swim and they think that's enough for them to jump off this rock. This place that they're jumping off, the water is really deep um, to where if I jumped, I could not touch the ground. There's this one girl that could not swim, uh, so I told her not to jump. But her friends convinced her thinking, if they jump with her, them two could pull them out. What ended up happening is, when all three of them jump, the two that could swim completely forgot about the girl that can't. They, they ignore the girl that can't swim, 
and the girl that canceled him is underwater. Her head is sticking up. She's been underwater for more than 15 seconds now, which is a long time for someone that can't swim because, you know, they begin to panic. And I, I'm looking at her and her head is right above the water line, but she cannot get above the water to get a breath of air. Uh, so I dive in, going to her to pull her up and pull her out. The problem is, as soon as I got there, she felt something, you know, she felt me and she just shoves me down in the water with her. So as I'm under the water with my hand, I lift her up, pushing her, hoping she could surface to get a breath of air. I come up with her, but she's still pushing me down. So it's, it's difficult because I'm trying to get around her from behind to hold her up. To make things worse, uh, the people that were jumping from the rocks, as soon as I leapt in to help out this girl, they started pushing each other off. Not everybody that was on that rock is was able to swim. So you got people that can't swim and people that could swim in the water. So there's let's say eight people in this area. And these people that are in the water, if they could swim, aren't strong. So in here we in Taiwan we've been having strong rains for the past few weeks. So the water level is high. So the current is really strong because there's you know some small rapids up ahead. They're they're being swept away from the from the current and they're being pushed into this corner. So as I'm struggling to get this one girl out, there's other people in there that are struggling as well because they can't swim or they're swimming, they're not going anywhere, so they begin to freak out. And during that whole mess I'm being pushed down, people are like holding on to me and I haven't taken a breath myself so I had to push away from them to be able to set myself free, come up, get a breath and then go back and help out again. The thing is though when I came up I had swallowed so much water that I didn't even realize that I'm, I couldn't breathe because I had so much water in my throat. I, I ended up being on the edge of these rocks. Thankfully a teacher was there and he was able to carry the first girl that couldn't swim on her back because she's really light. There's three other people that were struggling and swimming. I'm telling them, okay, grab onto these rocks, grab onto these rocks. And as soon as like people are calmed down, I jump where well, I push myself away from that crowd just, just so I could be safe. As I'm heading over, I see around the corner this one big 200 pound kid. He was struggling. He could swim, but he's also not strong swimming. As I see him in the water, he's, the water line's right here. And he's like gasping and gasping and trying to stay up. And he sees me, so I'm like, oh great. This guy will put his arm around me and he's gonna drag me down. And we're probably, we're probably gonna drown together. Before he puts his arm around me, I'm telling him, alright, calm down, calm down. Hold, grab a hold of me, but stabilize yourself, stay calm, and I'll keep you up. And uh, he puts his arm around me, he calms down quickly. I'm like, okay, perfect. So he, he's using me to help stay up afloat, but he's not shoving me down. So what I end up doing is like, okay, here, let's kick towards this way, let's kick towards the shore. So when I got there, I just, I was in relief. Thanking God. When I was on the water when I first jumped in, there's this other girl in the blue shirt that I remembered. And when I got on the water, I could not see this girl in the blue shirt. So I started, so I started calling out saying like, all right, where's, where's Kiki? Did somebody pull her out? Did somebody pull out Annie? And they are saying like, yeah, yeah, she's out, she's out. I'm like, okay, good. So I like yelled at these kids saying, if you cannot swim, don't jump or don't push people off. If you're going to jump, jump because you want to jump. That was a scary situation that just happened. Thank God no one drowned. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,